Today we'll have to face Gamut for our second chance of getting to Worlds. It's definitely one of the most important matches we've ever played. It's the most important match of the LCS. Both teams going up against each other come off a kind of a devastating loss. If you lose, then you're disappointed. If you win, then you're not disappointed. We'll see who can keep their spirit up the most. We won 2 over Gambit, and now we secured a spot for Worlds and in the Grand Finals. Last year it was so close for us. Now we're just happy we didn't repeat the defeat. Either us or Gambit isn't going to Worlds. We will not do it. It's like a huge fail for us. If we don't get to Worlds, it's by far a big disappointment. We want to be the best team in the world. We have to get there this year. We've worked hard for a full year now, and we want to be there. There is a lot on the line at the moment. It has to happen. This is our last chance. Everything's on the line. coming to you live from Cologne, Germany. It is the last day of Gamescom and we are going out with a bang. We've got the championship match between the Lemon Dogs and Fnatic coming your way. And the winners of this best of five showdown will walk away with bragging rights across all of Europe. And we've also got the third place match where EG and Gambit will square off for the last European berth in the World Playoffs. It's going to be an amazing day, so let's head right over to Joe and Jason at the desk to get it started. Thanks a lot, Shocks. I'm Joe Miller alongside the lovely Jason Kaplan. And welcome everyone to the final day of the regional playoffs here in Europe. All eight European LCS teams started this summer with just one goal to make it to this championship match. Yeah, but bit by bit, these teams were narrowed until we're down to the final two with Lemon Dogs and Fnatic facing off in the grand finals. Well, both Lemon Dogs and Fnatic had brilliant showings in yesterday's semi final series, sweeping away EG and Gambit both in just two games. Yeah, and those wins, they not only secured a place in today's finals, they earned their birth into the Season 3 World Championship. They joined the wildcard winners Gaming Gear, uh, Korea's Najin Sword, and Southeast Asia's Team Menenski as the first five squads to qualify. And today we'll find out the sixth team to join them as well, and the last squad from Europe that will be headed to Los Angeles to compete for the Summoner's Cup. Yeah, today's third place match up between Gambit and EG literally means the world to these two squads. The winning team will be the sixth out of the 14 teams that will compete in Los Angeles. And while Gambit, EG, Fnatic and the Lemon Dogs came into yesterday's games already guaranteed a spot in, Europe's, uh, in the European LCS's next season, Team Alternate and the Ninjas in Pajamas battled in the fifth spot for a place in that all-important spring split for Season yeah. 4. Yeah, and after the epic Game 1 that saw NAP coming back for the win after losing two inhibitors, which is not easy, Team yeah. Alternate came up with Clutch again in these two straight elimination games to take fifth place and avoid relegation, which means that NAP now join SK and Meteor Makers in the promotion tournament where they'll have to win to get back into the LCS. Now let's take a look back at the wicked kills, brilliant aces and clutch combos that made day four of our broadcast here at Gamescom so exciting to watch. Season 1 champions Fnatic take on EG in the first semi-final of the European LCS Regionals. The SOAS wicked matchup gets off to a fiery start. And he's going to chase him down. Actually flashing in there, the repel does come up, there's the jump back down and ah. they're going to be able to take him out. SOAS here burning from that ignite and he will kill him off. Last take of it and Wicked probably breathing a sigh of relief after that one. Another dragon fight gives Fnatic the advantage. And now it's just Wicked to really take down. He's going to get rooted up. Too much damage coming oh. his way. Actually managing to get two in the end. But that will be the first ace of this game going Fnatic's way. They lost three men to take the five. Good fight overall. It's Fnatic that storms through the first game and are one game away from world playoffs. And there's only Crepo left standing. But for how long he tries to get on the fountain, he will get through. So a tanks up the damage from that. They're going to take the Nexus. And Fnatic are going to win game number one of our best of three semi final In game two, the Wicked Soaz matchup is one to watch once again. Waiting under the tower with this one. There is the jumping. Are we going to see the kill coming down? Yes, we will. Wicked picks up first blood. Crepo shows us how to snipe with Zyrus passive. He's going to dive in towards Crepo. They decide to change up towards Yellow Pete Puchu. Going to get ulted here by Frogan. Knocks oh. in the air. Sniped down by the Zyrus passive. And there is the dash away from Frogan. The fight at Baron will decide who gets the upper hand. A disaster strike for EG. They start off the Baron. They take so much poke damage before they leave it. Then they lose the fight. 
They've given this one up. Fnatic sweeps the series in an impressive 2-0 and secure their spot in the regional finals and at the world playoffs. CG is kind of like the revenge. Losing would have been super sad and super disappointed, but beating them feels even better because it's like, this is for last year. In the second semi-final of the day, the Lemon Dogs take on Gambit Gaming. And it's Lemon Dogs that draw first blood. Alex is trying oh. to turn around. Deathlock is not available. Force backwards. Ignite secures it. First blood for Lemon Dogs as Alex goes down. Lemon Dogs go hunting in Gambit's jungle. Gambit is now the team that has to respond. Gambit is the team that needs to move in there and check out what's happening. Zero Zero throws oh himself no. and there's no flash for Diamond Frost. He does get stunned up. Bolt card is there. Now Destiny's being used as we do see Zoro Zero bouncing all up in Gambit's face. Lemon Dogs show us why they finished number one in the league and are one game away from the final. It's Nuke Duck's turn to show what he can do on Zed. Death Mark available, the Shadow Slash has come out. There's the Shuriken, a flash forward for Nuke Duck, and the Death Mark will pop. Oriana gets dropped. Lemon Dog's team fighting is just superior to Gambit's. Zoro Zero gets popped. Cell Division is there. All of the blobs sitting close together. And Darren is just going to get that area of effect damage down. He's ticking. He's going to be the next victim to fall. As the Blood Bomb pops as well. Dark Flight manages to get Diamond up before Tab lands a critical hit and picks up a kill. One for two in this mid lane. And Lemon Dog's winning that fight. Nuke Duck is dominating the game, as said. Now we see Diamond Frog's been jumped on. Death Mark's going to go out. Does pop it even through the shield. It's not going to be enough. Nuke Duck is unstoppable. 5-0-2. And he's making it look so easy. Lemon Dogs take down last year's Gamescom champions Gambit in a clear 2-0. And this is something that nobody expected. 66% of you thought that Gambit were going to win it. Lemon Dogs have 2-0. And a fantastic win there for Lemon Dogs. And Honestly, deservedly so after the season that they've had. I remember the vote that we saw for that. It was very in favor of Gambit, but Lemon Dogs yet again, after 21 plus times, finally showed that they can win games even if they're not voted for. Well, and with two days of LTS playing faction in our match history, let's take a look at the brackets. On the far right side in a final match, it's up to the top seeded Lemon Dogs and the second seeded Fnatic. And of course, while in that third place match, it's the number three seed EG versus the four seed Gambit. Well, if you guys want to keep track of all the LTS uh, playoff action at home, you'll find everything that you need to keep updated with the brackets, the stats, and all the VODs over at lolesports.com. And of course, while you're there, you can also vote who you think is going to win today's matches. Go to the schedule in the top right corner, click the finals tab, and vote away. And then when you're done with all that and you've made your picks, head over to Twitter and let us know who do you think was the MVP of the European LCS Summer Split and why. And hit us up at LL Esports and make sure to use the hashtag LCS. We're reading the best responses live later today, and if yours is picked, you'll win a Logitech G400S gaming mouse. All right, guys, we've got to take a short break, but when we return, it's a third place match between Evil Geniuses and Gambit with a trip to the World Championships on the line. The European LCS Regional Playoffs will be right back.